when Ted was uh, working for the post office department in the 20s, uh, he met an old boy named Les Mallon, who was a professional baseball player. And Cincinnati offered Ted a professional baseball contract. He turned it down because he had just gotten married and considered the uh, post office department a better bet than being a pro ball player. But after all this happened and everything, uh, capturing Clyde and Bonnie, Ted gave Les a uh, pocket pistol, as they called them back in those days. And uh, it surfaced here a few years ago when Leslie, his daughter, called me and wanted to know if I knew about the uh, gun. And uh, I said, yeah, I know that Ted and Les were good friends and such as that and everything. And uh, so that pocket pistol is uh, in the uh, inventory of the uh, auction that Livingston and them are having up there at R&R. &R. Frank Hamer was an old boy that was a retired Texas Ranger that was working for Lee Simmons, the director of TDC. And uh, he uh, had a partner named Manny Galt who was also a retired Texas Ranger. And uh, Frank was a pretty tough old boy. He'd come up as a Texas Ranger down on the border and everything. Had a reputation of, uh, as the Mexicans say, no hay cuarto. In other words, ain't gonna give you any slack, boy. And uh, he would take them in. Uh, he became, uh, in uh, later years, the uh, head of security for Sun Oil down in Houston. Uh, after all this was all over with, back in the 30s. Uh, there were a lot of awards bestowed upon him. There were a lot of things that uh, they were going to start a state crime bureau and he was going to be the director of it and such as that, most of which these things didn't happen. But he uh, had a son, Frank Jr. And he followed in Frank's footsteps except in a different agency. He was in the Parks and Wildlife, and he was an investigator in there and also a pilot also. And uh, he uh, was a pretty good old boy. And uh, he kept a lot of the stuff that Frank had when, uh, when he died. And uh, by contact with Bob, uh, down there at Waco, uh, he uh, got it in the Red Man Museum. Okay. Bobby Livingston with RR Auctions got hold of me with regard to this stuff and everything. And they've got a good pedigree. They double check things they go over things, they double check the provenance of items and such as that. And uh, as a result, uh, they have real good auctions, they have uh, real good procedures and everything. And it's been a pleasure working with Bobby.